Hey there Aries and welcome to your November 2019 Creativity Tarot Reading. My name is Kaylee Jean and welcome to my channel. As I was tuning into your energy for the month of November, I was feeling like there is so much going on for you when it comes to your feeling relationship with life and with yourself. I don't know if this is something that many of you are going to hear and feel like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I'm going through, but I was getting this sense of, maybe it's just a couple people out there, but I felt like my body was becoming more sensitive. And I felt like as I was tuning into your energy, I also was given this very instinctual feeling like you're going to be making decisions based on instinct and what feels right this month as opposed to like always kind of what makes the most logical or rational sense or what other people around you might be thinking is sort of like the most logical or rational thing to do. And the message really on that Aries is to trust yourself and trust the feelings and the sensations that you are having because the truth is I feel like many of you have been doing a lot of work on kind of shedding old belief patterns and old patterns of thought. And I feel like this month represents a really amazing opportunity for you to kind of take the next step in that personal growth journey. So you're going from kind of reformulating and reprogramming your own mind. And some of you may have been doing that through meditation or journaling or reading books about psychology or, you know, working in a self-healing way with your own thoughts and your like cognitive patterns. But some of you may have just been doing this like kind of in the background, like you're not necessarily intentionally trying, but you are kind of reorienting your whole approach to life, especially when it comes to how you think. And I feel like this month represents this really beautiful opportunity for you to really come to life and to embrace the flow of sensuality and sensual feelings in your life. So making decisions based on like body sensations that you get, even intuitive hits, anything that just really speaks to you that's blowing in the current underneath the sort of thought stream of your brain, um, that's really where I see and feel the most growth for you, Aries, this month. And I feel like it's going to come at the perfect time where your assertions that you come to in a very intuitive and sense-based way those conclusions are going to be proven correct. So I feel like it's a really important and empowering time for you, Aries, to kind of soak that in and really allow yourself to enjoy that process um, because it represents you getting to know yourself better. And that's what November is all about for you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at your cards and we will get some more insight and information on the specifics of the month. Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, beautiful. And I'm also going to get you a message from your Animal Spirit Oracle cards. These are your Animal Spirit guides for the month. Pay attention to where you see them or their likeness as they could be bringing in additional messages and guidance for you. Okay. I just had like a really quick flash coming in of like the feeling of someone asking um, it's okay, so this is really quick. It was like the feeling of someone asking you a question that you maybe on some level feel you've already answered, and you may have felt like you actually already answered it multiple times. And it's like this feeling of someone being almost kind of um, like they're you are feeling like they're just trying to take up more of your time. 
So I don't know if this is symbolic, Aries, but that just came through psychically so, so quickly that I had to say something because it always um, tends to resonate at least with someone out there when that happens and it's like a very specific thing. But I feel like the message on that is to prioritize like your own well-being Aries and if you have been clear in your communication if you genuinely reflect on how you've been communicating and you know that you've done a good job you've covered all your bases you've been you know a giver you've been polite you've shown up you've fulfilled your obligations at that point if the person is still trying to kind of grab onto your energy Aries, you have total validation and permission to like close up that particular doorway of communication and just say, look, I already told you this. I We did speak about this already several times. You know my response. Um, or, you know, depending on what kind of situation it is, you're going to know the best way that makes the most sense for you to respond to that. But the feeling that I'm getting is like, it is okay, Aries, to just put that boundary there and you're like, you know what, like I've done everything I can. <laughs> I really have and you can still be really polite about it, but just be, it's okay to be firm. That's the message that was coming through. So I hope that's helpful. Let's take a look at your animal spirit cards. So we've got mouse as the path. And unicorn as the influence. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, so one of the things that I notice right away is just like the similarity in the environment that these creatures are in. It shows me that they're definitely very much linked um, in terms of the themes that you're experiencing this month in November. So the mouse as your path shows this sense that um, there's an area of your life where you feel insignificant in some way and there's varying degrees to which you know you probably feel this but on some level it could be manifesting as the sense of like with the mouse like I don't know that I have anything of value to contribute because I'm new to this or and I'm just the um, person that's showing up to kind of take care of things in the background in this situation like why would anything um, more powerful or more profound or more um, responsibility like fall on me like I'm just here to get you guys your coffee <laughs> you know and again I'm not saying that's like the situation but it's like the when we have the mouse perspective we are significantly undervaluing our contributions and we are telling ourselves a story that makes us seem like ridiculously smaller in the equation and it's not necessarily the truth especially when you have the unicorn as the influence i feel like this card as the influence is saying that um and and also this is kind of bringing in this theme as well of conventionality versus authenticity or originality and those are a little different but I feel like in this example, the mouse kind of can represent your tendency or your thought process when you think, I need to do things such and such way in order to um, fit in in this situation, or I need to kind of fall in line somehow with how things are usually done and just kind of play my role and that's it. But the unicorn is coming up crossing you saying that that is actually not your role this month, Aries. You're going to be asked in the month of November to share your ideas. This is like the equivalent of, for example, in the situation, let's say, where you're the mouse. Like, let's say you're a newcomer into an industry and you really love the industry, but you haven't been in it that long and you... Uh, are in a group setting with other people who've been in it for years and they're discussing how to solve a particular issue and they look over at you and they're like, hey Aries, what do you think about it? <laughs> what, what would you do in this situation? And you're like, I don't know what I'm talking about, like don't ask me. But I feel like this message that's coming through with the unicorn is saying actually you have the key. Your originality and your authentic experiences and your ideas, Aries, are going to be incredibly helpful in whatever situation this is. And if you're a business owner, and let's say you're not even new to the industry, but let's say you're used to doing things in a particular way, the unicorn as an influence in November is saying you're going to get some wacky ideas. You're going to get some thoughts of like maybe I would like to sort of refit this or what if I turn this upside down and see like how it looks 
And surprisingly, I feel like those ideas that seem so out of left field are actually going to be incredibly inspiring for you and for other people around you who are going to be coming into contact with your work. So the message here is don't like be stuck in the mouse like you're gonna feel the tendency of the mouse this month you're gonna feel the tendency to kind of hold yourself small stay in line you're gonna feel the tendency to kind of want to keep doing things the way that you normally do but the unicorn is saying you can actually gain a lot by just being different this month and by doing things differently and trusting that ability that you have to do that trusting that everything is going to be okay if you take a risk somehow or if you express yourself a little bit more so that's what we're seeing in your oracle cards. Let's take a look at your tarot cards and we'll get some more specific insights. Wow, so we have the page of a Thames, three of pentacles, three of a Thames, Athames, I don't know. I say it both ways sometimes, but three of swords, let's say king of swords, two of pentacles, the oak king, Seven of Pentacles and Nature. Beautiful. It's funny because I really see this, what we were just talking about. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, so we have um, the Page of Swords in this deck um, showing up with the owl and the full moon, which is telling us a lot already. And we have the three of pentacles next to it. So when we see these cards as we go into November, for you Aries, there's definitely this sense, because pages represent being new at something, they also represent kind of starting fresh in especially areas of life that have to do with communication or study um, or anything kind of that is a skill, you know, is a skill that we like practice and evolve and develop. Um, we see this sense of like the completion with the full moon and the owl energy. We see a completion of a learning process or a completion of a stage of growth. And as a result, we see the three of pentacles. We see this man handing this instrument to the, the boy um, here, standing here, which I feel like is obviously the same person. So something that you go through internally, Aries, that feels like you're growing in a significant way with the page of swords, it's like here you're by yourself and you're recognizing, wow, I'm doing better, you know, like I'm doing better at this or something is... Um, evolving within me and I can feel it I can feel viscerally you know that there's these changes happening and I'm becoming with the owl and I'm, I'm gaining knowledge right owls are a creature of wisdom um, and then at the same time that you're having that internal realization it may surprise you but you are having that sense of recognition like somebody handing you responsibility just like we were seeing before so this is just showing that this energy could come in in the beginning of the month um, I, these cards are loosely kind of set with the intention that Things that occur in the cards um, earlier in the spread are showing up earlier in the month, but keep in mind this is a general reading, so it's possible that sometimes none of this stuff will resonate, and it's possible that some of it won't make sense until later, or it could be moved around a bit in the month in terms of timing. But I do feel like there is potentially in the first week of November, there's a sense of recognition from someone else, but also that is coming Firstly, on the heels of you recognizing some kind of growth within yourself, like privately, and then that's being kind of reflected externally because somebody else is having the same realization that you are about you and your work and what you're putting out there into the world. So you could be even... This could show up in the sense of somebody contacting you, maybe direct messaging you on your social media saying, hey, I want to interview you for my YouTube channel. Or if you are um, a business owner, for example, you could have somebody who's in a complementary industry reaching out, wanting to um, merge supply chains with you or wanting to kind of... Um, 
rent space and share it or there's some kind of sense of like hey like we see that you are starting to evolve something that you're doing and we'd like to work together or we'd like to hand you responsibility or we'd like to just see more of you <laughs> somehow so I really like to see that the Three of Swords and the King of Swords in um, the second week of the month. This is interesting because um, the Three of Swords in like the usual deck is not the most kind of happy card. It typically shows like a heart with three swords in it. But this deck, the Green Witch Tarot, has illustrated it as this person coming home to the house and the door is open and it feels like she could be coming home and maybe looking at the house and feeling like something's missing or that she she wishes that maybe somebody was there that isn't there um, or there's something that needs attention maybe in the house but there's some some kind of symbolism here with this card that's really making me feel like there's an element with the king of swords as well um, of you kind of wanting or needing to switch your mindset from one of lack or like recognition of what isn't there to like what you do have and like what you are capable of because clearly with these cards they are connected in the sense that the king of swords is here and then this is the three of swords so when we're looking at this I really feel like this draw is showing that like she could go inside and fix up the house. She could start putting things back in order and getting organized and make it, you know, kind of brighter and light some candles and, and things like that. So I feel like I don't know what where this is coming from, Aries, and if it's maybe coming from a totally separate part of your life. But I feel like around the middle of the month of November, there could be like a moment where you catch like a, a little bit of the blues in a way, but the the point of that or like the way to sort of address that is to work on your environment because I feel like it's possible when I'm looking at this, it's like it feels like it's an, a message of encouragement with like the warm, creative atmosphere of the King of Swords. He's writing, he's, you know, engaged in his activities, he's focused, whereas this person is kind of like, mm, you know, like I'm not happy with my surroundings. This person has sort of set up their surroundings so that they can be creative and they have a purpose. Like he feels like he has a purpose in this image. So the message is maybe put it on your calendar um, just in case. I'm not saying that everybody's going to feel this, but around the middle of November, you could maybe write something down on your day planner. Like if you're feeling a little down, maybe it's time to do some decluttering or maybe you need to go to um, like a lighting store and get some new lights or get some candles and bring in literally, I'm speaking literally here, bring more light into your home. Bring light into your home that is going to make you feel good. Maybe hang up some festive lights for, you know, the holidays or for just not even the holidays, maybe just because you want to, depending on like where you live and, and um, what kind of things you celebrate. But I feel like there's just this sense of like, no, you know, it doesn't have to feel like this. Even if you are feeling like maybe because the, the Three of Swords can sometimes represent a feeling of rejection, um, I feel like this card could be saying that if you feel like you're putting your work out there or if you feel like you're doing something um, consistently with effort and it's not being seen or it's not being acknowledged or you're wanting to kind of bring something out and you don't see like a lot of reaction, like maybe this is a separate situation from before, um, I feel like these cards are saying just get creative Aries just set up your environment get in your workspace make some things more colorful in your life and maybe get rid of any paintings or images or like art or anything that you have in your environment that kind of brings your mood down like if you have images of things that make you feel sad for example or if you are um, just needing to kind of brighten up your atmosphere maybe think about switching out some of the images that you have around your house if you're feeling a little down because I feel like you can definitely address whatever this little emotional lull is 
um, just by kind of making your environment more conducive to joy. <laughs> so don't feel like there's nothing you can do about this. If you are one of the Aries who experiences this, it's very much about kind of taking the energy of your environment and making it work for you in a more conducive and joyful way. The Two of Pentacles and the Oak King are coming up in the third week of November, which is definitely really interesting to have here. So the Two of Pentacles is a card of movement and flexibility and change. He's juggling the pentacles, right? Um, and then the Oak King is uh, the hanged man, essentially. So the hanged man can represent like periods where we... Are sort of in limbo and I kind of feel like a little bit of that energy with both of these cards so in the third week of November it could be you know as the Sun is approaching Sagittarius um, which will at the point that it moves into Sag it will be trining you and any points that you have in Aries so that's gonna be a, a more conducive energy for you as well we're going to have mercury moving retrograde around that or moving direct from being retrograde around that time so i feel like around that third week of november it could just be that you're sort of in between like decisions or in between chapters or there may be a sense of needing to be a little bit more relaxed about your approach to life like don't be in a rush to kind of get things moving for you because I feel that this is actually going to resolve itself and I, I actually don't get from these cards I don't get the impression that whatever this is is like on you I feel like especially when we have mercury retrograding in Scorpio all month this is just part and parcel of the energy it's affecting everybody but um you are going really far, you know, because you have these other energies that are showing real progress and that that is like the key energy for the month is recognition of your progress. But that doesn't mean that all of a sudden everything is going to manifest in like one day, you know, it, it's a process. So you also had the mouse and the unicorn. So a lot of this energy that maybe has has you feeling like it's moving a little bit slower it may actually be a gift because as you kind of slow down and explore your options and explore your internal emotions and feelings which is a big thing with mercury retrograde in scorpio by the way that doesn't have any hard aspects to it mercury's not going to be making any he's not going to be making or receiving any difficult aspects while he's in in retrograde in scorpio so it's a really chill retrograde in my opinion, like there's going to be a lot of deep work happening for a lot of people, but it's not a bad time. It's a time of reflection, it's a time of relaxation and being willing to sort of be calm and flexible during that time. So just like if this guy were doing yoga, like a yoga pose, it's just you can put on a yoga uh, thing on YouTube where you can follow along with a yoga class at your local um, yoga studio, for example, I'm just saying as an example, and you can go into it, you know, comfortable and be like ready to stretch, ready to just be present in the moment, bring your water, just totally give yourself over to that experience. And then you're probably going to enjoy it a lot more than if you are just looking at it like, okay, I got to go to yoga and then I have to like immediately after I know I'm going to have to pick up the kids or I'm going to have to go do something else. And you're thinking like constantly about the next thing and you're wanting to get your workout in quickly so that you can just go on and on and on. I feel like this energy is saying like you can choose to experience this little period of like the middle of the month of November as like a relaxing, rejuvenating, you know, serene time where you're getting more in touch with your feelings and learning more about what brings you to life in terms of your inspiration and your self-knowledge and your goals and your vision for the future you can use that time wisely by completely embracing it and making it fun so listen to music you know um, 
make your environment feel festive. Like for example, if you work in an office, maybe it's a great time to bring in some like cupcakes for everyone or bring in something like fun, decorate the office or do something nice for the people around you that you just know is going to make everybody feel a little bit more joyful and happy. Um, you can embrace the energy of this time period and make it feel so amazing um, as long as you're just going into it wanting to experience that and embracing the presence that comes when we have Mercury retrograde in Scorpio without any hard aspects, which is really nice. Um, the end of the month we have the Seven of Pentacles in nature, which is really beautiful. So. Um, what I get from this is actually, you know, pretty intuitive. I feel like at the end of the month, once the sun is solidly in Sagittarius, um, you're going to be feeling, you know, especially as well with Mercury direct, you're going to be looking back on the month of November and I feel like you're going to be recognizing that you actually did make a lot of progress. Maybe the energy of November was about giving you the permission to pursue something unique that you wanted to do or create. Just like this person here, he seems like he's doing a craft with his pentacles and it feels like he's very engaged with that craft. It feels like he's very um, present with it and it's getting him in touch with, you know, other sides of himself. Sometimes the nature card can represent literally the unconscious mind. It's parts of ourselves that we didn't normally allow to exist. So seeing these cards here, I just feel like the end of the month is going to be this kind of quiet realization of like, wow, I actually did get a lot done, even though maybe during the month of November, I was feeling like I wasn't really taking a ton of action or like I wasn't necessarily pushing myself to achieve and, and do all these things. It's like you get to the end of the month and you're like, wow, that was actually a really productive time. And you're more in touch with, you know, your internal self, which you know, maybe that comes through from dreams that you have in the month of November, or maybe it comes through as a result of um, some inner work that you're doing this month. But overall, I do feel like it just shows that this is a powerful time of like inner growth, which sets things up for you to then really take charge and move your life in new directions. Um, you know, when the energy gets right as we go into the end of the year and the new year. Wow, and we have Psychic Knowing as your Oracle card. So um, that's really beautiful. I think that really affirms kind of like the way that I was reading this nature card because look how similar they do look, like the purple and the trees and everything. So you're going to be having some really profound psychic knowings coming through this month, Aries. And again, just like I was saying in the meditation, it's so important for you to trust those instincts that you get. Trust those hunches that you get. Your feelings and your emotions are going to be telling you a lot this month. And maybe you have worked a lot through um, mindset things that you want to change or changing old belief systems and changing old mental patterns. And I feel like this is a month where you can really take that to the next level by then validating and trusting this, by validating and trusting your psychic knowing, your intuition is going to be spot on. It's going to be serving you so, so well. So definitely trust that. And I hope that this reading has been helpful to you in some way. I hope it gives you some sort of clarity or blessing or guidance as you go forward with this month and as you encounter these energies. You know, I hope that you are able to be very kind and gentle with yourself and um, just really embrace whatever it is that you feel you need this month because I feel like that's really where your benefit is going to be is in allowing yourself to go with your own rhythm and to follow your inspiration. I feel like if you can do both of those things at least some of the time this month, you're going to really get a lot out of November. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here on my channel. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Give me a little thumbs up <laughs> emoji or something like that. Also, please give this video a like and um, a follow or subscribe. You can also hit the bell for notifications. 
any and all of those things are incredibly helpful for my channel. It really helps me to know that these readings are beneficial to you and it just makes my day when I get to hear back from you guys about how the readings are touching your life and what's going on. So please feel free to let me know in a comment below or at least give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're here. I'm sending you so much love and um, I will be back soon with your 2020 full forecast readings. So if you want to support my channel, this is going to take quite a lot of time for me next month. So if you want to donate to support this channel, if you get something useful out of these readings and you just want to say thank you, I'll put the information below this video for that as well. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for being here again, Aries. I'm sending you a huge, huge hug. I hope that you have an amazing month in November and I will talk to you next time. Bye.